Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Can you hear the birds chirping for you? He's got his own little pattern going on here. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Good afternoon. It is the afternoon. It is 13.20. And um, we're just going to pull some cards. And, well, we'll just have a look what the, the story is today. Okay. Um, where are we going? The everyday is Harrow, apparently. Okay. It feels like we're taking it nice and easy. Um, today, easy like Sunday morning, every day Sunday morning. <laughs> I have a book. Okay. I wonder what he's so chirpy about out there. It's, it's like he's um, giving out the call. He's letting everyone know. Okay. What today? Today is the day to let everyone know. Okay, what are you letting people know? It's like you'll soon find out. Are we going public? Okay. So it feels like someone could be going public with something. Got Donald staring at me here. Hey Donald. It's a nice sailor's hat you've got on there. A sailor's life for me. Is it now? Okay. Are we drunk? I felt like a drunken sailor. What do we do with the drunken sailor? Well, he might be um, speaking some truths, whether that is when you are drunk. Um, <clears throat> I've heard, well, I've said this phrase this week. And it kind of comes back from back in the day. It's not really something I would say now to someone. But then I was actually speaking to another Divine Feminine and she came up with the same like phrase in a sentence and I chuckled to myself because I was feeling as if this person, it was like I actually said, jog on, <laughs> as if sod off, <laughs> get going. It's like, um, you can jog on, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> You're not getting anything from me or... Uh, well, that's really the meaning of it, but it felt like it was like Ceylon. Ceylon. I feel like I do want to check out the words to um, Lionel Richie. Okay, let's have a look. Jog on. And then this other Divine Feminine come up, she was saying something, and she went, they could just jog on. And I was like, that's just too funny. Um, <laughs> I said, that, that phrase came out of my mouth as well. So, Ceylon. Let me, because all I'm singing is Ceylon down the line. Okay, um, can you spell sale? I'm just about to, okay, is someone um, maybe selling their home? Their shares. <clears throat> so it's definitely about, let's go to Lionel Richie. He'll tell us what's going on. <laughs> okay. Let's check out these lyrics. <clears throat> Sail on down the line, about half a mile or so, a mile or so. Don't really want to know where you're going. Jog on. <laughs> really feels like someone's telling someone to get lost. They're speaking their truth. Okay. It feels like drunk and truths, maybe. Or what should we do with the drunk? Anyway, maybe once or twice, time after time, I tried to hold on to what we got, but now you're going. And I don't mind about the things you're going to say, oh. And I don't mind about the things you're going to say long. I give all my money and my time. I know it's a shame, but I'm giving you back your name. Yes, I'll be on my way. I won't be back. <clears throat> I won't be back to stay. I, get, I guess I'll move on. I'm looking for a good time. Oh dear. I actually feel like this is a karmic energy. They're gone. Unless the Divine Masculine has been sent on his way. Okay, so long down the line. Funny how the time can go. Friends say they told me so, but it doesn't matter. 
It was plain to see that a small town boy like me just wasn't your cup of tea. I was, I was wishful thinking. I gave you my heart and I tried to make you happy. Well, this sounds like the divine masculine trying to please um, his previous partner because it looks like they've left. You know it ain't so hard to say, would you please just go away? I've thrown away the blues, I'm tired of being used. I want everyone to know I'm looking for a good time, good time. Say long, honey, good times never felt so good. Say long, honey, good times never felt so good. Say long, honey, good times never felt so good. Say long, sugar, good times never felt so good. Come on, come on. Ceylon, honey, good times never felt so good. Okay, that's really it. Ceylon, 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 Ceylon. Honey, Ceylon, honey. Very interesting. I've not even pulled any cards. Is that what's going on, Donald? That wheel's turned, hasn't it? Well, you knew it was going to happen. Okay. Right then, should we do a reading? <clears throat> My heart's beating really fast. Queen of Wands. I'm feeling the Divine Feminine's energy because I'm feeling like the karmic is out of the picture. And uh, it's something about if a black cat crosses your path, it's... Um, it's deemed to be unlucky, but it's like it's it's going to be really unlucky for this uh, karmic if she wants to try and um, cross paths with the Divine Feminine. You're being protected here by this cat. We then have the Hierophant, and this is, I actually feel like this is a twin energy coming out into the open. This is the Divine Masculine. Okay, I was actually going to say um, that this was the Divine giving the go-ahead. But it feels, because it came out, this is a Divine Masculine who's going to be kind of giving the go-ahead to the Divine Feminine. It's like you're coming out of the shadows. It's time. And I feel like both of you know that this time is coming. <clears throat> uh, Nine of Swords. This is you the entire Divine Feminine. So if you're in this energy where you're feeling uh, quite... I'm not going to say drained, just in a very restful, um, peaceful energy. That's because change has occurred. Nine of Swords. And there you are, the Nine of Pentacles, Divine Feminine. Listen to the birds, they're bringing you messages. Okay. And as you encourage this... Um, Oh, okay. As you encourage this, it puts this connection in courage. One more. What is the birdie saying to the Divine Feminine? All is balanced out. Just you remain balanced, but on the lookout. This is about balance being um, brought in in the physical. So the Divine hasn't um, had to... Well, I'm going to say the Divine hasn't had anything to do with this. They have, but it's actually the Divine Masculine that's speaking up. It looks like he's got a gun, he's up. <laughs> he's done his business. I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Should we read these cards? Well, they are all showing really feminines, apart from whatever's in the shadows here. Um, Queen of Wands. Looking at the Hierophant, so it's like you're being warned, but I do feel like the Divine Masculine here's had a gun. <laughs> it's coming through a showdown in Tokyo. Tokyo. <clears throat> Okay. Nine of Swords, this um, resting energy, as we are evolving into um, the true essence of the Divine Feminine. 
And this is what you call bringing in the balance. Okay, and you can see it's the feminine's collective here. So it looks like kind of that's the masculine uh, authority and this is the feminine's authority. Very strong characters. Let's read um, this story. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Always a social butterfly, you lead a busy life, making connection with others and putting yourself out there as you pursue your creative vision. So it feels like the Divine Masculine, he knows you don't really have an issue with like being put out there, um, about you being known. You are confident, courageous and determined, unafraid to speak up and be heard. I love it. Okay, looking at the higher fence, that's kind of like the feminine saying, well, she's saying, is it time? And you will receive a message um, to warn you. You might feel like your cats are quite protective. I've had this this morning um, with Tia. She was quite, she wants to get really up close and like lay on my lap, which she doesn't normally want to do. So I'm feeling as if the cats know, the birds know, you know, the higher fans. Comes just before the lovers. Or the lovers come before the hierophant? No, the hierophant comes before the lovers. Who is the hierophant? And I felt it was a divine masculine's energy. A slip of the tongue. Okay. You are working with a teacher, mentor, or guiding authority. I feel like you're both working together here as twins in the background. Well, in the foreground. You will expand your knowledge and learn fundamental principles with a trusted source. Okay, so you can trust this. Uh, it's not a warning. Um, it's a sign. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Life is demanding without understanding. Okay, so you can sense the demands without quite understanding what it is that you're sensing. Okay. Nine of Swords. Let's look at this. You are weighed down by dark thoughts. Interesting. And disturbing feelings. Worry, despair and anxiety are keeping you up at night. The more you associate with your fears, the more they will rule your life, reach out for help. So if you've been having these sleepless nights, but you know that there's no real reason for you as a divine feminine to be uh, weighing yourself down with dark thoughts and um, disturbing feelings, but you're feeling them as if there's, well, like I said, I didn't want to say that it was a warning, but I feel like you can pick up the signs within you of worry, despair and anxiety. Okay, and these are keeping you up at night, that's a sign. The more you associate with your fears, the more they will rule your life, reach out for help. So you kind of know that it is uh, your twins, your divine masculine, your divine counterparts, so anxiety coming through. Okay, then we have the divine feminines card, the nine of pentacles. You have created abundance. Now enjoy the fruits of your labours. Okay. Don't be afraid to splurge on something special for yourself. Use your wealth to create financial independence in the long term. This is a message from the bird. It's 1333. And I feel like this is uh, regarding the change. And you're starting to feel very abundant. And you... If the, if the abundance is coming in for the long term, it means that you're just about to move into mission work. Okay. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, and I feel that you are both moving into this mission work together. Six of Pentacles. The balance. You are feeling generous and ready to share your abundance and wealth with others. Or you may be on the receiving end of generosity. Accepting these gifts with gratitude. 
is coming. Give abundantly and it will come back to you threefold. Uh, this is your reward, Divine Feminine. Not much more to say about it. <clears throat> this is your recognition. You have been recognised. By who? The Hermit. He's holding the star. Okay. He needs to come out of the dark. Sweet the Hermit energy. I don't care what the weatherman says if the... Wherever man says it's raining, you'll never hear me complaining. Okay, the underlying energy is you are on a path of spiritual knowledge and self-discovery. Retreat from everyday life and create space for introspection. Go within and you'll discover the knowledge and clarity you seek. And it feels like the Divine Masculine's actually been seeking for... Um, Divine timing, the right time. The right time's here. Okay, I'm going to messages from heaven. What about some of them? Communication cards. I want to hold your hand. I'm sure it's in there. I wanna hold your hand. Can I tell you something? I'll help you understand. Okay, so I feel it as if it's a little bit. Oh, look, as I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can show them the expression on your face, but you don't look angry all of a sudden. You look timid, and let's see, can they see? <laughs> I can't get the angle of my... You look cross to them. <laughs> he really could do with his hands being held. <clears throat> okay. You've got each other here. Okay. You've got their hand. Awesome. Oh, look at all the feminines, like, reaching out their hands. Okay. Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Card number 13, which suggests uh, the energy of death, seeing as we have a uh, butterfly here. Transformation. So this is uh, about to emerge, guys. It says, don't hold back. You are capable of so much. Reach your full potential and know your loved ones will be delighted at your achievements. Go for your goals. We too are excited by your success. Let's get another message. It's time to fly. Card number 44. Okay. Two giraffes here. We will assist you in helping the important people in your life use love. I feel like, um, I actually feel like this is a message for you, Divine Feminine. Use love. And uh, the Divine's going to go to work to assist in helping uh, the important people that are in your life. AKA your divine masculine. Let's read this, 44. You put a one in front of that and uh, the one. You have, um, well, the 144 here. Let's check out the message. Oh, it's the last, uh, it's the last card in the deck. Part of our path on earth is to help others along life's journey. Some would argue that this is our most important task. Helping others can be as simple as passing on a smile or holding out a balance in hand. Stay balanced, Divine Feminine. When you assist others, hold the intention of love in your heart. You're, su 
your loved ones continue to send love and support to you in return. Every step you take in assisting others, we applaud you and thank you. You're definitely being acknowledged here on how you're helping to assist the Divine Masculine. Even if you think that you're not, you most definitely are. And they're needing that kind of um, energetic, um, helping, balanced hand at the moment. They need for you to be uh, stable, Divine Feminine. It's not time for your instability at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully you got over that. That card come up, um, was it yesterday? Look for instability until you become stable. Okay, so you, you've got this, Divine Feminine. Angels and Ancestors, please. Um, hold on, we get a Law of Attraction card first. This person looks like they're in the hangman position. I can reach for better feeling, for a better feeling thought. And it's important for you, Divine Feminine, if you're wanting your Divine Masculine to become enlightened and come down. Um, card number 33, and communicate. Then you need to um, reach for that better feeling thought. Let's um, get a card. Within 60 days, it can be mine. Two months. As you give thought to your future, that may be 10 years or 60 days away, you are prepaving. And then as you move into those prepaved moments, and as that future becomes your present, you fine tune it by saying, This is what I now want. And I feel like you're ready, you're both ready for this. And all of those prepaved thoughts will fit together to bring you precisely the experience that you now want to live. And I feel there's just this knowing. Okay. No wavering on um, what it is that you're wanting, especially to bring into this new world. I can create my world as I choose. Okay, let's create it with love, positivity, optimism, support, guidance, assistance. Okay. Angels and ancestors? Let's hear it for the boys. Ding, ding. Okay, let's hear it for the boys. Star ancestors, that came out quickly. It says, follow the voice of your soul. <clears throat> okay. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestors is a Native American term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. He wants to phone home, call home. Okay, you are home, Divine Feminine. These incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. Now the masculine here, he's not looking up to the night sky and seeing the stars, he's looking at you. He has kind of in his own little lantern. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help if you are willing to be helped. If you're wishing on those stars. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. Okay, the extended message. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born 
for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Page number 77 and 76. Okay. So not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. Uh, both of you. Let's have a look at your sacred destiny. <clears throat> Donald, where's your trousers? Like, <laughs> he's just staring at me, turn on that one. <laughs> I'll just look at your name. <laughs> Let's have a look at the Sacred Destiny um, Oracle. And we have Pleasure. feel this energy of divine feminine it, it should be your pleasure to help and assist um, it's like when you hold my hands it's like of course it'll be my pleasure so a luscious meadow meadows are usually open sunny places where flora and fauna thrive and flourish they are havens, as the trees surrounding the meadow offer protection and shade for the grassy area. Traditionally, they are associated with openness, gentle calm and relaxation. They are places where the weary traveller can stop and rest to renew his spirit, so you're needing to feel like home, Divine Feminine. Do you understand how important that is? Okay. And that's... Um, a feeling within. A meadow is a place where people as well as animals gather to enjoy the simple pleasures of life. So if you're attracting the animals to you, the birds, um, the sign synchronizations, you're in alignment with home. Okay. And the more that they appear, the more you know that you are um, balanced. <clears throat> you're attracting. Okay, your energy is attracting this uh, to you. So the sacred landscape wants you to know, savour your life, each and every part of it. Take pleasure in slowing down and experiencing each of your senses. And I felt so much here about what's tapping into our sixth sense. Okay. Taste your food with full gusto. Inhale the scents of the world around you. Enjoy the colours and textures of your life. This is truly a stop and smell the roses card. Embrace your sensuality. Move in a languid way. Let pleasure be your password into every intimate part of your life. Allow your life to be less about being productive and more about enjoying each moment with verve and a radiant energy will flow through you in all directions of your life. Have you been relaxing today? Got to take it easy like Sunday morning every day. I've had a beautiful relaxing soak in the tub with oils and scents. Ah, beautiful music just playing in the background. No rush. And look what happens when we slow down. The Divine Feminine, I'm going to get a Divine Feminine Oracle card. The Divine Feminine, oh, okay. Jeez, it's like we're announcing you. The Divine Feminine. <laughs> da, 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 da. Get my little blowers ready. <laughs> What's that? Why is it not one of those blowers that blow out? It's party, party, party. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
was trying to add to the atmosphere of celebration. <laughs> You have Mary Magdalene, the apostle to the apostles. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Let's read about uh, the energy of Mary Magdalene. We all know who she um, is. She is the divine counterpart to Jesus Christ. Superstar. Page number one, of course it is. Okay. Mary Magdalene embodies the capacity we all have to merge with the soul and receive divine guidance through a love that never ends. Mary was born in the first century in Magdala, Israel. She was the first to witness the resurrection and for this reason is revered in Christianity as the Apostle to the Apostles. So it does feel like... Um, you're, you're going to be the first to witness the resurrection of your divine masculine. Or you are going to wit be witnessing the resurrection. Okay, I'm not sure if the whole world knows before you. <laughs> hey, look, it is what it is. Okay, it's going to come out however it's going to come out. <laughs> In the meaning of Mary Magdalene, author and Escorpal, Episcopal priest Cynthia Borgalt relates to the Gospels of Thomas Philip and Mary Magdalene. They all reveal Mary not only as Jesus' beloved companion, but also as an equal partner in teaching and transmission. Perfect. Equal, equal partner alongside Jesus. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Borgigalt believes that Mary Magdalene Gospel contains a secret teaching that Christ gave to Mary so that she could pass through the seven stages to reach the soul or the nous, which is the highest point of the soul. And there you are, Divine Feminine. I feel like being through the seven deadly sins. Okay. And it is this union with her soul that allows Mary to see the risen Christ. Okay. In classic, I could not iconology. Mary Magdalene is associated with an egg and the colour red because of an Eastern Orthodox legend. It says that she used an egg to teach the court of Tiberius Caesar about resurrection. Caesar doubted her and responded that a person could no more rise from the dead than the egg in her, in her hand turned red. The egg turned red immediately. Legends relate that Mary then travelled to the south of France to escape persecution and to continue her ministry. It is believed she lived the last 30 years of her life in the caves of Saint Buen. There she met with Christ with a love that inhabits the human heart but that lives on beyond it. So when your soul selects her card, Mary Magdalene represents the fierce unwavering love that we all have access to within our own vulnerable hearts. It's a love that renders all things sacred, from the animals to the angels, from the poorest to the most powerful. It's a love that sees the inherent worth of all things. And it's a love that remains, even through the darker times, even through the darkest times, even through death. Her love is the one that resurrects. My candle's gone out. Okay, Ooh, let's carry on. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene relates that Jesus came to unite us, to demonstrate to us a true human being, an anthropos, meaning a person who is both fully human and fully divine. This is what Mary became, and it's why she was so beloved to Jesus. She didn't seek to follow him, she sought instead to become her true self. Mary Magdalene reminds us that we have the power to receive vision from within. We are worthy of such proximity to the divine because that's the other half of what it means to be truly human. She reminds us that there's, that there's a bridge between heaven and earth and that we are that bridge. And she wants us to remember that the truest church we can ever enter is in the heart 
This is where our true power vests and where love never ends. Tell it to my heart, tell me I'm the only one. Is it really love or just a game? Okay, just thought I'd throw some Taylor Dane in now. Um, soul voice meditation, where has my love not yet reached? Intention, I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I'm fully human and fully divine. Beautiful message today. Unicorns. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's um check out the unicorns. It's thirteen fifty five. All the fives, 55. What are we playing now? Bingo? Okay. What are we looking for? A line or a house? House. That's good, isn't it? You want the house? <laughs> We're calling house. Okay, the message is share. This is a beautiful message. When you share, everyone feels happy. Okay, instead of kind of saying, where is the love, I was going to sing. Well, I'm going to sing. Sharing the love, the love, the love. Sharing the love, the love, the love. It's better than a black eye. <laughs> if you'd like to make new friends, start by sharing with them. You can do this in many ways, such as helping someone with their work or giving them some food. You can also share your feelings with a person and they'll also share their feelings with you. Sharing feelings often makes your friendships closer. It's also a good idea to share things with others. Do you have anything in your closet? Maybe some secrets? <laughs> a few skeletons. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's also good a good idea. Listen, we all have them. <clears throat> it's also a good idea to share things with others. Do you have anything in your closet that, that you never use? If it's okay with your family, why not give it away to someone who needs it? This will make you both feel happy. As you give away old things, you'll discover a secret. New things will come to you, as if by magic it's true. And I, I feel like, um, well, I don't know if the Divine Masculine's asking his family if it's okay if he kind of takes back his loves and sh his loves, his loves, he loves a lot, um, and give it to someone that actually, you know, um, needs it, wants it. <laughs> it will make them happy because uh, it feels like it's not really um, something not being really your cup of tea. I'm sure it said that somewhere. I don't, I don't really drink the tea, so I don't drink the tea. You can also share when you're with a group of people. For example, let someone else talk while you listen. That would be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> or work as a team to win a game. You can also let another person win a game as a nice way to share. It's also important um, to... Um, I'm going... It's like, it feels like the Divine Masculine is going to let you have your way. Divine Feminine is going to let you win this game. Okay. It's also important to let other people give to you. In friendships, both people give to each other. So let your friends share with you. All you need to do is say thank you. And feel happy about how fun it is to share with your friends and family. Feels like you're sharing good news. Okay. Thirty-nine minutes. Well, I feel like we're going to wrap up, um, and we're going to end with a Mother Mary card. <clears throat> Let 
We do know what the Mama Mary is going to say, don't we? Yes, let it be. <laughs> Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Okay, I will put a message. <clears throat> Our Lady of the Abundant Garden, card number 38. Three and eight brings us to an 11, okay? I can't resist the temptation to whistle at legs. <laughs> Someone's blowing the whistle. Okay. <laughs> I provide life without limit. You have no need to fear loss or lack. For everything that dies, new life is created to supplant it. For every need that you have, there are ample channels through which that need can be fulfilled. I can provide all with wisdom, grace and even joyful humour. <laughs> Don't whistle. You can find a way to delight in life and enjoy all the riches that are available to you if only you open your heart and release your fear. It is habit, not reality, which keeps you uncertain. Trust in me, my child, and be nourished in my living garden of love. If we are so concerned, if we are so what? Concerted? Concerned, I was going to say. If we are so concerned with our needs for survival, we can become blind to how much we already have. It may never seem to be enough for us to, to feel really safe, happy or secure. You just changing around the words, adding them in a bit. Okay, <clears throat> can we get this message out please? If we are so concerned with our needs for survival, we can become blind to how much we already have. It may never seem to be enough for us to feel safe, to feel really safe, happy and secure. Siren outside. Or perhaps you have trust in your heart and yet you are also tired of feeling as though you have to work so very hard to get by financially or that it takes so much for you to feel supported in your work. Or perhaps you feel you have to give so much love and support to get even the smallest amount of attention or affection in return. The mother comes to us with a message that we need not fear for our survival, that she has our back and is protecting and supporting us. We have so much already and can open to receive so much more as we let go of the fear of loss and lack that shuts us off from the universal flow of abundance. In the mother's garden, there is always a blooming harvest. If part of the garden is in decline, it is because energy is thriving and flowing into another part of the garden. There is always abundance. It is always in flow. All we need to do is open to her in trust as we come to understand her way of constant flowing energy. She is asking now that you recognise that your fears are habit rather than a reflection of a reality in which you must fear. Humanity is evolving together and there are the forerunners in the evolution of the human race that help shift the memories of the body that have been programmed into survival mode. To shift these memories into a place of trust, of curious surrender to see what happens what unfolds and therefore become very responsive to divine guidance allows the human race to heal, to become more creative than reactive. Then humanity can join the divine celebration unfolding upon the planet rather than reenacting old painful wars. Each one of us who is willing to take this shift from scarcity, fear of poverty and fear of lack into a place of genuinely trusting in abundance, in the plentiful provisions of the Divine Mother, helps the rest of humanity learn 
that it can be done. You are one of the chosen children. Washing machine, you're not on. I know you're not on. So why are you, I heard you sing to me. <laughs> okay. Wally. Oh. Each one of us, each one of us who is willing to take this shift from scarcity, fear of poverty and fear of lack into a place of genuinely trusting in abundance in the plentiful provisions of the Divine Mother helps the rest of humanity learn that it can be done. You are one of the chosen children of the Mother, chosen to learn to play in her abundant garden and feel the safety of her eternally flowing nourishment, then you can help others learn to do the same. There exists more than enough for all. As we come to realise this, we can learn how to receive and share, rather than take and fear. This oracle comes at a time when you are being asked to let go of fears of abandonment in your relationships, or fears of failure at work, fears of not being recognised or valued, Fears that will prevent you from taking the steps that you need to take now or in the future. This oracle comes at a time when your financial situation is healing and you need to trust in new ways of feeling open to abundance reaching you. It comes at a time when all those around you might be in fear and reaction because of a recent trauma or situation and you are needed to be the one who stays in your heart and in trust of the divine plan. You might be the one through which the mother wants to pour her assistance because you are capable of remaining open to her and not closing down in distrust or shock. Our Lady of the Abundant Garden comes to you with a gift of abundance and you are asked to remain open and to know that she has endless provisions through which she blesses the unfolding spiritual destinies of all of her children. This oracle comes with a special message. If you have been wondering if something will take off and flourish or thrive, the answer is yes. Let's do the healing process and affirmation. I'm so full of goosebumps. Before you stands a large tree, beautiful, old and wise. Sense that there is tremendous energy rising up from the roots of the tree, flowing out to its branches. Some branches are full of life, preparing to bear blossoms and then fruit. Others have life force drawing back from them, wither, withering so that the energy can flow towards the fruit bearing branches instead. The whole tree benefits. You may become aware that the tree is a symbol of your life. Finish your process with this healing affirmation. My life is a tree of life, thriving in the Divine Mother's garden of abundance. The Divine Mother Mary, who loves me unconditionally, helps me trust in what is coming even when I am letting go. The abundance of the Divine Mother knows no limits and I am provided for through her loving grace. Wow. I want to repeat a part um, because it's really important. They're trying to get to you your abundance, okay, to help your financial situation, but you have to be open to how this could reach you, okay? It's coming in the divine way. So this oracle comes at a time when you are being asked to let go of fears of abandonment in your relationships or fears of failure at work, fears of not being recognised or valued, fears that will prevent you from taking the steps that you need to take now or in the future. This oracle comes at a time when your financial situation is healing and you need to trust in new ways of feeling open to abundance reaching you. It comes at a time when all those around you might be in fear and reaction because of a recent trauma or situation and you are needed to be the one who stays in your heart and in trust of the divine plan. 
it's all over to you now. Well, for today. Okay, I will catch up with you guys um, soon. If you'd like to book yourself in for a five weeks worth of coaching sessions with me, details are in the description box. If you email me, I'll let you know how much um, the five weeks um, costs and um, we can get cracking on um, some one-to-one -one sessions. Okay, take care. Have yourself a fantastic day. And um, thank you for your donations. Um, for those that um, do donate to the channel, um, details in the description box for that one as well I was reminded to remind myself to put that out there that if you'd like to donate to the channel details are also in the description box I'm going, have a fantastic day I love you all dearly, take care, much love bye for now